on the yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. Is this an OLED panel? Tour. HD at uh you and I, are you HA? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, this is just a model that's coming out yeah. later this year. It's gotcha. uh, only slightly different, a couple changes from the current model. Okay, the most okay. obvious one being the Harvard Garden speaker. It's an LCD oh. screen, actually. Yeah, LCD screen. LCD, yeah, okay, LCD. okay. 21 gotcha. and a half inch LCD screen. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so you do a whole bunch of things with this. Uh, just try to do Yeah, sure, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to see all the cool things. So one of the newest things I could do now is pull this out. It gives me more slack. What you can do now through here, it's another uh, feature on the Note 8. It's called Live Message. Okay. So you can actually send uh, personalized messages, gifts, drones, whatever it is. And you can actually send across all platforms. So uh, let's say, for instance, my wife, she's got a job interview coming up. And I want to drop her message. I can do this. So you hit done. It's going to save that image for you. Okay. And then it's going to come up with a separate option for you to share that. Now from there, you can share that across another device. You can email it. Text it to somebody, upload it to Facebook, whatever you want to do. But in this situation, we actually want to share that with a device. So you click on share the device, choose a refrigerator, click OK. And now what it's doing, it's actually uploading that uh, that note that I just wrote out. And it's posting that up on the front screen of the, of the family hub. So now when my wife comes to the kitchen to get a morning cup of coffee, first thing she sees when she enters that kitchen is that sign ready for right there. So rather than me be leaving a whole bunch of uh, sticky memo notepads all over the place, right. or as opposed to writing a text message that sometimes tends to lack the emotions when trying to communicate with that recipient, right. this captures that emotion every single moment right there. Nice. Even though I'm not there personally to tell my wife, hey, good luck on the interview coming up, uh, if I'm at work, I can send that message for her, and as soon as she steps into the kitchen and sees that message in my own personal handwriting, it's gonna have that same personal feeling as how we're there telling her face to face. Hey, congratulations coming up on that. Very cool, very cool. What else? Can you can you see the inside of the fridge yeah. as well? Over here, inside the fridge, it has three cameras that are built inside of it right over here. So every time we open and close the fridge door, it actually snaps a live image of the things we have inside the refrigerator. Uh -huh. The exact same way you see it there, that's how you see it right there. Gotcha, so gotcha. let's say for instance, I already ate all of that up. It's already done. Take it out. Now snap the third image. It's refreshing and uploading that current image right now in the next eight seconds to show you what you currently have in there. Wow. Just like that. Nice. And even nice. my own smartphone. Uh-huh. Open up the app. There it is. Go to inside image. Uh-huh. Give it a walk. It's pretty slow. Everybody's on the uh, on the same system of fortune. We're all sharing it. Right, right. It would be a lot faster than this when you're actually at home you have your own system. Wi-Fi. The same way, you see it there? Exact same way it's on the screen. Wow. So rather than me having to call home and bother my girlfriend to check the fridge for me to, to double check what we have, I can look inside there right now. Whether I'm at work, at the gym, or even already at the supermarket. I can open it up, see what we have, you know what, to get some more celery, those cheeses are running low. Right. Let me get some more snacks for the kids. Right. Get my things, put it back inside, close the door. Snaps another image is going to refresh that and reload it up for you in the next eight seconds right. to show you what you have in there right now. Now, does this work for the bottom doors as well? The bottom ones right here? Yeah. No, no. It only focuses on the front. Okay. Over here, there's always your freezer. Uh -huh. This is a flex zone. Okay. So okay. you can turn this into the fridge, the freezer, or wine cooler, whatever you want it to be. Wow. But the reason why we only have the cameras up top and not at the bottom, your freezer, things always stay preserved. That's a yard. Right. You can locate things where they are and put it in there so you know where it's located at. But in reality, what we're really concentrating on knowing is all this. Right. I want to know how much, how much is left of my snacks. Uh, how much eggs do I have? You know, am, is my milk getting ready to spoil? Those are things we really tend to concentrate more on the front, not on the sides. Over here, we just tend to put on the sides, condiments, sauces, ketchup, mustard, things like that. Gotcha. That's going to stay pretty well, uh, well, well fresh and preserved so long as the refrigerator stays cool. Gotcha, but gotcha. my kids' snacks, the yogurts, my fruits and vegetables, I want to know how much time is left in that before it expires. I want to be able to see that and know, okay, how much time we got left in here, how much fruits I got left up there. And I can look all that right from the front of it, right here in the front. Can you open the bottoms too? Yeah. I want to just, just double check. Okay, so, so that's, that's your the flex zone. Okay. And this is always your freezer right here. Okay, okay. Got it. Very cool. 
So if you find yourself running out of space in the fridge, uh -huh. convert it to the fridge. If you find yourself running out of space in the freezer, you got it in the freezer right here and convert it to that. You got some friends that probably come over and you got some wine, you want to throw a little wine party, turn it into a wine cooler.